this chemistry video we're gonna talk about introduction to chemistry so first of all we're gonna see two types two division two division number one is experimental science number second is wisdom wisdom science so what do you think which one is more you know powerful and very keeping up with the potential i guess experimental because once you try things you keep experimenting that you keep going with the result observation experiment hypothesis theory so i think that experimental is more far better than this why uh, wisdom because it contain you know tentative glands it it require tentative glands that works uh, with our brain actually pituitary gland you can say so i guess experimental is more beneficial let's have a look we have two two categories of this number one is you know biological biological science and number second is physical science physical science okay so we're going to have a look that in in physical science what are those two subjects that are going to come okay first of all we have living kingdom living kingdom and we have non living kingdom kingdom so in non living kingdom we have physical science and in living kingdom we have biological science so biological science contain plants that is known as botany because botany is a study of plants so we going to call that in living kingdom and we another we have animals so that comes in zoology so these side which have the uh, living kingdom and biological science have two main subject that is botany and zoology that is biological science now we can have a look at non living stuff that is physical science so physical science is mainly of matter plus its transformation that we call chemistry mainly focus on chemistry another is matter study of matter plus energy is known as physics right so that comes in non living kingdom and we have physical sciences for that so we going to start with chemistry and where this word come from and if we combine these two both so we have another branch that is digital science that is digital that digitalizes the data of these two both okay i hope you got it now this chemistry word is derived from chem chem is basically black soil or you can say land that is derived from egypt because the because the land of egypt is black and the egyptian used chem because egypt was really known as chem so this chem is come from chemistry this chem is come from chem that is known as soil and land and we know that we in, in chemistry we do study land mountains soil because soil have minerals in that so yeah and min uh, ke, chemist chem chem history means exper uh, you know specialist expert in that field so this is the combination of word so now chemistry somehow relate with study of matter as well those two quantities of matter can be two quantities matter have we know that so the two quantities of matter is mass 
and we have volume because we know that matter anything that have mass and occupy space or volume is known as matter so that is somehow related to chemistry so we denote matter to chemistry this was the introductory introduction of chemistry